All trees store carbon, and when a wildfire hits a forest and burns trees, that carbon is released into our atmosphere and can contribute to climate change. However, new research from NAU shows decade-old carbon stored in redwoods can actually help regrowth after destructive fires. Oh, yeah, frankly, we were surprised, too, because it seemed, you know, kind of hopeful. It seems like actually a lot of these trees were, were quite well prepared for this fire event. The 2020 CZU Lightning Complex fire burned more than 80,000 acres in California, including 97 percent of Big Basin Redwood State Park, destroying iconic redwood trees, some more than a thousand years old. NAU researcher Drew Peltier visited the park six months after the fire. Trees were regrowing and research found carbon was the reason why. The kind of key analogy here is, is carbon reserves are sort of like a gas tank for trees. So um, it's this big pool of energy that trees keep for, for later use. Redwoods are some of the few trees that use carbon for regrowth, which was created decades ago. Those energy reserves are on the order of perhaps 50 to 100 years old. That is uh, carbon that was photosynthesized from the atmosphere, you know, over 50 years ago was being used to build new leaves and foliage. Now, 2021, 50 years later. So can this research be applied to our forests here in northern Arizona? Kind of. He says while our signature ponderosa pines don't store carbon or regenerate the same way that the redwoods do, the overall consensus is that better forest management and reducing climate change can have a big impact on our vulnerable forests. In Flagstaff, as in much of the West, we have this legacy of, of sort of past fire management practices where our forests are very dense and perhaps over overstocked in such a way that we have these really catastrophic fire events. What we can do is obviously manage forests, doing some of those thinning things that we talked about, um, but also just try and stop climate change so that trees are less stressed, these forests are less dry, they're less prone to burn at such high intensities in the future. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family. It's good.